Hey YouTube, we love our new sheer curtains and our ceiling curtain tracks from Amazon. We're going to show you how we installed these and why we chose these over some of the other options. Yep, exactly. So we're going to go from here all the way to the end and we'll measure until it ends there. Okay? I just measured and it looks like it's 200 inches. Track system comes with everything you need. You have the rollers here, hacksaw. Uh, some screws and some anchors, some more rollers. I chose these rails because these connectors, they seem to be a lot sturdier than the other ones. There's a different version that just connects the top piece, which I'll show you later, but then the bottom gets misaligned. And so when you're trying to roll these rollers, they tend to get stuck. But this actually covers the top and the bottom. So I think this is gonna work a lot better, but we'll see. All right, it's nice and lightweight. It's uh, made out of aluminum. We went with the white color, but this is all gonna be covered, so that doesn't matter. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is an 18 foot kit, and we're gonna cut it down to size, and like I said, with our ceiling, we're gonna need about 16 feet. small little screws in place and when you tighten them they'll anchor the track down. Basically it'll slide in the slot here. <laughs> Track system, I do prefer. There's another one that I saw that doesn't attach the bottom section here. So there's just an attachment on the top. And what can happen there is this won't line up and it might be loose. If it's off just a little bit, then the rollers get stuck and you have to go up there with a pole or a ladder and just kind of move them over that lip. But when you have this um, connector here, that's like a U-clamp that goes all the way around, that's less likely to happen. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and since I'm gonna um, get started in the corner where there's a wall, we're gonna have to put this end cap on first. So you have several of these pieces that come with the kit. You're gonna make sure this end goes in first, then you have to pull this underneath so it sandwiches the rail. Can you guys see that? So then it closes this off. There. Perfect. So that's the end cap, just so that the curtains don't slide out of this um, open. We have our curtains here. These are the little hangers that actually, roller hangers that come with the kit. Lindsay has been kind of just weaving this hook through those hangers. All we needed were two, was it two packs? Each, each set of curtains comes with two. They're about 51 or 52 in inches per panel. So it comes in a pair, so we ordered two packs for a total of four of these curtains. It's extremely important to keep a consistent distance from the wall. To do this, I felt the easiest way was to use a combination square. If you don't have one of these, I put the link in the description below. It's a must have if you do any DIY projects around the house. Um, for my track, I actually set this to three inches and I used this on each rail and it came out perfect. So again, these tracks are aluminum. They're extremely lightweight. I'm just using some painter's tape to hold this up. 
I've got my combination square just to make sure uh, several different points are all equal at three inches. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm taking a drill bit um, that fits, the it's the exact size of each hole where I'm gonna mount the anchors and I'm just making a little mark so I know where I'm gonna drill. So now I can go ahead and remove the rail so I can go ahead and start drilling and I can um, hammer in the anchors. Oh, but first I went ahead and used my stud finder just to make sure there's no studs in the way. If there are any studs, I'll just go ahead and drive the screw instead of using the anchors. There's a picture of the anchor. And I'm going ahead and just hammering all of them in. And here's the drill bit, 13 64 That's the perfect size for the anchors, and it fits that slot inside of the rail perfectly. So now here, I went ahead and put the track back on, used the painter's tape again. Um, I'm screwing in each screw by hand. And here for the next rail, I went ahead and uh, added the attachment, used the painter tape again, same thing, I'm measuring out just to make sure um, the distance is consistent, marking the holes with the drill bit, drilling the holes, I'll add the anchors here, I'll put the track back on, and I'll go ahead and screw everything in. So after this, the steps are just pretty much repeated over and over again until you get to the end of the wall. One quick note here, when you're actually tightening the um, attachment racket to the connectors, the screwdriver is going to be too big to get to the screw that's on the inside of the rail. So I just went ahead and removed this piece and I use that to tighten the inside. You can see that the rails are nice and straight um, and again that's because I use that combination square. Here I'm marking out the distance. The last portion is going to be 19 inches. I'm using my square just to mark that off and next I'm going to grab the hacksaw and go ahead and um, cut the remainder, the extended portion of the track. I would have normally done this with my table saw or um, my grinder, but just to show you guys, uh, this can easily be done with the hacksaw that's provided. Here's a picture of how the um, end cap attaches. I'm doing the same exact steps as before. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the last section of the track. So now it's finally time to hang the curtains. By the way, these rollers are extremely smooth. They literally glide through the rail and we're really impressed with that. Adding the end cap here. All right, the curtain racks are mounted. The curtains are in. I have the blue tape with the studs marked out because we're gonna put a little trim piece in front so you don't see the rail. But these rollers are excellent. They slide extremely easily. They just glide the entire way. Definitely recommend these. All we have to do now is install the trim piece that covers the track. And we'll be showing you how to do that in the next video.